Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey keep things cozy at Chili Yankees vs Guardians playoff game in New York City, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are cozying up as temperatures cool down, the couple enjoyed a date at Yankees Stadium on Monday, October 14, for the first game of the MLB American League Championship between the New York Yankees and Cleveland Guardians, Swift, 34, and Kelsey, 35, matched in black. Both sported baseball caps, with the NFL player's hat emblazoned with Midnight Rodeo and the 14-time Grammy winner's hat being logo-less. They also wore black jackets as the temperature hovered around 50 degrees, a sportscaster during the game's broadcast could be heard saying, Taylor Swift here with big Cleveland fan Travis Kelsey. However, after the game between the Yankees and Guardians ended, Taylor Swift and her boyfriend Travis Kelsey left the Yankees stadium. The couple was seen riding together in an SUV on their way back to Swift's Tribeca mansion in New York, the couple had a fun and meaningful evening out, the baseball outing capped off the couple's holiday weekend trip to New York City, where they were first spotted on Friday, October 11, arriving for a double date with Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. The Fortnite pop star and the Kansas City Chiefs tight end first sparked dating rumors in September 2023 when Swift attended a handful of Kelsey's games before the couple went public in October, Swift attended 13 NFL games in support of her boyfriend last season. Including the Super Bowl when Kelsey and the era's tour star celebrated the Chiefs' second straight championship with a kiss on the field after the game, this season, Swift has continued to appear at Kelsey's home games and was able to spend this past weekend with him as Kansas City enjoyed its bye week without an NFL matchup on the books. However, the couple still dominated headlines after retired Dallas Cowboys quarterback and current NFL broadcaster Troy Aikman claimed he had heard Swift and Kelsey were engaged and planning to get married, people later confirmed that Swift and Kelsey were not engaged and the rumors were unsubstantiated. Kelsey will be back on the field for the Chiefs' next game on October 20 against the San Francisco 49ers at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California, for a rematch of last year's Super Bowl. The Chiefs are one of two NFL teams who remain undefeated so far this season with a 5-0 record. Taylor Swift has casually swapped stadium dressing for an arena she's far more comfortable in during her latest public appearance, showcasing her off-duty street style after becoming a mainstay at her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's football matches at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, the couple returned to where they first took their romance public with back-to-back -back date nights in Manhattan. The choice of location should come as no surprise to either Swift's adherents or those familiar with the NFL schedule. For the uninitiated, the athlete was given the week off from his tight end duties as the Chiefs had a planned buy. Swift has also been nesting back home in the United States as she prepares for the upcoming final leg of the billion-dollar grossing era's tour. But according to her fans, the 34-year-old is also preparing for something else, and it appears that her recent looks are co-signing this theory. If you haven't stayed across the latest theories on Swift's re-recording schedule, it's believed that the 2017 Reputation album will be next in her discography to get the Taylor's version treatment. And with Swift arriving at Nolita's Torisi restaurant in a green mini dress, this hunch seems likely, Swift and Kelsey also showcased their autumnal going out style while dining at the upscale Italian establishment. The newly minted most successful female musician wore a thigh-grazing piece designed by Anne Ibiza. The style was made from crushed velvet in a chartreuse colorway and featured a bone corset. Which is quickly becoming Swift's preferred silhouette of choice, she completed the look with black platform mules from Versace and Roberto Cavalli's mirror snake shoulder bag. Coincidence? We think not, earlier in the weekend, Swift subtly paid tribute to her reputation-coded Dior ensemble from the 2024 MTV VMAs while on a double date with Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. Honoring the leather and tartan gown she wore to the award ceremony, Swift carried the French Maison's coveted saddle bag while the foursome dined at Soho's The Corner Store, the last time Swift ate at the establishment was in late September when she and supermodel Gigi Hadid wore matching trench coats for their downtown excursion. Continuing the motif, Swift wore a tanned wool jacket from Ralph Lauren, a black pleated tennis skirt and nude bustier from Gucci and stiletto ankle boots from Louis Vuitton. 
Travis Kelsey's mother, Donna Kelsey, continues to show her support for Taylor Swift in the most heartwarming way, the matriarch's strong relationship with the bad blood hitmaker has been celebrated by the public, with numerous paparazzi photos capturing their moments together, in addition to catching the Kansas City Chiefs game together. The 72-year-old Donna appeared to be a Swifty at heart by rocking one of her official merchandise items. In time for the Yuletide season, Donna once again appeared in the teaser for the Hallmark Christmas movie Holiday Touchdown. Holding a green gift box, she looked lovely wearing a black long-sleeved polka dot top and her signature big frame glasses, however, eagle-eyed fans spotted a very familiar accessory that Mama Kelsey was sporting. It was a swift merchandise for the Tortured Poets Department, which the singer released on April 19. The official merchandise featured a gold-plated chain with charms that resonate with the themes of her music. It also incorporates elements that reflect the singer's poetic style and personal aesthetic, with this, fans excitedly noted how Donna Kelsey appeared to endorse Taylor Swift by showcasing her support for her music. In a post on X, one user commented, wearing subtle Taylor merch and doing Christmas stuff in October? In this house we stand Donna Kelsey. Another one lauded the mother and future daughter-in-law type of relationship. The Chiefs have begun the season perfectly with a spotless 5-0 record as they hunt down a remarkable third Super Bowl in in a row. Andy Reid's side weren't in action over the weekend with the team on a bye week and won't be back on the field until Sunday, however, one player's weekend off was interrupted after he received a severe fine from the NFL after an incident during their Week 5 victory against the New Orleans Saints last Monday. The punishment was announced on Saturday when the NFL announced reprimands from the previous game week. The Chiefs' defensive tackle Tershawn Wharton was slapped with an $11.817 fine, which will come out of his paycheck, for unnecessary roughness. The unsportsmanlike act is said to have happened after an attack on the face mask area of Saints guard Lucas Patrick, the 26-year-old used his open left hand to strike his opponent, which sent Patrick's head backwards. The incident, which was called a penalty by the officials in the fourth quarter, was spotted by live Monday night football TV cameras. Wharton's season has started excellently, as he ranks second amongst his teammates in sacks with 1.5. The longtime teammate of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey helped the Chiefs to back-to-back -back Super Bowls and has started the season impressively, winning 11 tackles. Kansas City Chiefs running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire has less than two weeks to make his return from a non-football-related illness that kept him sidelined since January 7. However, head coach Andy Reid said he wouldn't make the roster decision until speaking with his player privately. Edwards Hilaire was ruled out for the first four games this season on the Chiefs' non-football illness list after detailing battles with PTSD that have been reoccurring since 2018, the disorder hindered the two-time Super Bowl winner from participating in several team training camps before the year and from being on the sidelines during Week 1's win over the Baltimore Ravens. The 25-year-old running back was present but limited in action for the team's practice as they prepared for their matchup against the New Orleans Saints. After the 26-13 victory, Reed was asked if the running back would return to the active 53-man roster. Yeah, so he'll be back in tomorrow. We'll be able to talk to him then, said Reed. I haven't had a chance to talk to him here, so I want to just get with him first before I put anything out there publicly. But we're awfully glad to have him here. Edwards Hilaire was placed on the NFI list on September 2nd, and the Chiefs opened his 21-day practice window ahead of Week 5. He has until October 23 to be moved to the team's active roster or face being on a team reserve list for the rest of the season. With Edwards Hilaire sidelined, the Chiefs have turned to a rotation of Kareem Hunt, Samage Perrine, and Carson Steele to fill the void left by starting running back Isaiah Pacheco, who is expected to miss six to eight weeks after undergoing surgery on his fibula on September 18. Pacheco's earliest projected return would be for the Chiefs' Week 8 road matchup against their division rivals, the Las Vegas Raiders, the trio of Hunt, Perrine, and Steele combined for 